Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're gonna to go through the steps on how to set up Face ID on your iPhone. But before we do that, please always remember to subscribe and clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. But let's get onto that video right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and I absolutely love it. And I've got myself an iPhone with the capability to be able to set up Face ID. We're gonna go through those steps today in this video. Essentially, Face ID is a smarter way to be able to protect the security on your phone. In the olden days, you would just have a pin code that you would just put in your phone, or you used to have a fingerprint scanner. Nowadays, the technology is so smart that the front facing camera on your phone, there's a little camera right on the front, can see your face, you register your face, and then your face itself unlocks your phone. It is a very, very cool feature, and it's very, very easy to set up. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna cross over to my iPhone right now, and we're gonna go through those steps on how to set up Face ID. So here we are logged into our phone. This is an iPhone, uh, and we're gonna now create a Face ID, which essentially is another way to be able to authenticate uh, your phone um, and unlock your phone. Uh, for security purposes. So we want to go into the settings on your phone, which is the second icon down from the top right of my phone. And we're presented with our standard menu options right here. From here, you wanna scroll down to where it says Face ID and Passwords, right there in the middle, underneath Siri and Search, and just above Emergency SOS. Face ID and passcode. It's going to ask you for a PIN number. So now this is the PIN number that you already use to unlock your phone. So go and put that in. Now I've got a few different options. You can see right from here that you can use your Face ID for unlocking your iPhone, for iTunes and App Store purchases, for Apple Pay and for password autofill, which is actually really, really helpful. So let's just go and say, set up face ID. So first position your face within the camera frame, then move your head in circles to show all the angles of your face. So here we are gonna see my face right here. I'm gonna start setting this up. So here we are. So position my face, so move my head in circles. You'll see that as I'm moving my head, the green area is being completed. First face ID scan is complete. It will do another one. So move your head slowly to complete the circle. Let's just do it the other way. Second face ID scan complete. And now it is all set up. So essentially what it's done is it's done a full scan of my face to the corners, to the top, to the bottom of my face. So it now recognizes my face in a 3D model. So you can use Face ID for all of those features that we talked about earlier. You'll also see that under other apps, it says 14 apps. Now this is because I have used Face ID previously uh, when you have an application such as a banking website application that requires your um, banking details, for example, to log in, uh, you can set it so that it recognizes and logs in using your Face ID. So applications that are compatible with Face ID will ask you for that. You can also read a bit more about Face ID and privacy right there. So the more and more that you use your Face ID, the more and more it will continue to learn your face, um, especially at you know, different daylight, nighttime. You can also set up an alternate appearance, which is actually quite helpful uh, in case you want to be seen in a different sort of way. Let's say you have a hat and a glasses on, or you have a face mask on or something like that you can set up Face ID to recognize your face in other appearances as well. Now, all I really gotta do is now lock my phone. So the phone now is locked, as you can see right from here. Uh, it is not detecting my face because I'm not looking at it. And then you notice as soon as I look at my phone, it unlocks. So the little lock area on the top is unlocked and I can just swipe up and I'm back on my menu. Simple steps right there on how to set up Face ID. So there you have it. That was Face ID being set up on your iPhone. Hopefully you were able to do it. It's definitely very, very easy and it definitely will increase the security on your phone quite a bit. So that's it for now. I would love it if you commented, like this video, and as, well, as always, please remember to subscribe, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. But that's it for now. Thanks again. We will see you next time.